When you're boarding a full aircraft of 427 people, and that's just in economy, you can only imagine how many bags there are. Let's say that each person carries one seven kilo bag and those are the ones that are following the rules and then there's the ones that didn't don't follow the rules and managed to get away with it not that i ever avoided trying to help as a matter of fact it was my pleasure to help i, I know the process and how how much time and how much effort goes into getting onto a flight even way before you even got to the aircraft i, I understand that but it was actually a pleasure of mine to be able to help even though I look like an agro psycho ex flight attendant here right now, it was actually, yeah, that's the truth. I like to help and that's part of the job. So there you go, that's expected. But then every now and then you'd have someone who's twice your size, non, not gender specific. I'm only five foot three and I like to think that I don't weigh that much. <laughs> no, but I'm only, I'm only short. We might have someone, and then they get on the plane, all these bags, this, Right, each really, really heavy inside. I'm not too sure what's in there. I don't see any children. It's just one person with all of their belongings. They managed to walk all the way from their house to the car through the airport with their bags. I put it there. Let's say, and this is all their bags. And they look at you and they go, No, that's not very nice. We're there to help you, put it up there, not to be the one and only one and sole person to lift your bags and put them up in the hat rack. We're there for assistance, not to be your baggage manager. Please manage your baggage and allow us to allow us to just assist you. That's cool. No problem. So please don't do that. Please don't know. Sometimes it happens where you're doing the clearance. Let me show you what that looks like. Let me just turn this space into a pretend aircraft. One second. So you're doing clearance and you're walking through the cabin. Your hands are full. You're trying to get to the galley really fast, as fast as you can. And then someone over here stops you. Yes, how can I help you? Hey, why don't you just put it on my head? That's fine. Just put the rubbish on my head because you can see I've got my arms full. Yeah, but there's no way I can take that bag of rubbish that you want out of your way. <laughs> it's pretty funny, isn't it? Put it on my head. No, 